lady figures on making any money giving away a free meal like that, do you? Well, he's not getting rich on you, brother, that's for sure. <laughs> Joseph, the inner man must be taken care of. Absolutely. If that inner man ever got out, he's big enough to take on the both of us. <laughs> All we got left to do is pick up that sugar and grain more. Right. Horse Cartwright, your time has come. There is no escaping. It is time, Horse Cartwright. How does she know who I am? I don't know. Let's go find out. Joe. It is time to have your palm read, Horse Cartwright. How did you know my name, anyhow? Madame Adela knows all. Well, go ahead. Why don't you let her read your palm? You got nothing to lose. Oh, Joe, this whole thing's a bunch of Tom foolishness. Such talk is foolishness. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with her. Don't talk foolish. After all, I, I think you probably have a fascinating palm. Of course, with the size of this hand, it may take two or three sessions, ma'am, but I'm sure you can Joe, figure it out. Joe, we got things to do now. Come on. Then you will die. I'm gonna miss you, Hawks. You mock my powers. It is easy for you. It is your brother who is in danger. Yeah. That stuff sure is silly, isn't it? Yeah, silly. It's amazing that people still believe in that sort of thing. Yeah, amazing. And you know that it's sad that people will actually spend money on that kind of foolishness. Yeah, it's sad. What does it say? I see a tall man. He is handsome. His hair is gray. He seems disturbed about something. Yeah, that'd be our Paul. He's disturbed because we ain't home them supplies yet. Come on, Joe. Yes, yes, that would be the reason. Yeah, well, let's go. Wait! Wait. I see a woman. Oh, yeah? Go on, go on. Is she pretty? No. No, she is not pretty. She is beautiful. Oh, go on, go on. Ah, oh, yes, yes, I see her clearly now. She is tall, statuesque. Her hair is golden like the sun. Her eyes are sparkling like the stars. The moment you meet, she will fall in love with you. Yeah? <laughs> what I see is true. All that I say shall happen. You mean I'm really going to meet this gal? With hair as golden as the sun. With sparkling eyes. <sighs> Joe, it could happen now, Dad Murray. Come on. Well, I wouldn't stake your life on it. <gasps> What's, what's the matter? What it is nothing. Never mind. The reading is over. But wait a minute. You just... The got... reading is over. One dollar a quarter, please. A dollar a quarter? You said just a dollar. I... With your hand, you need a rabbit's foot. Yeah, I know. 
Please go. Thank yeah. you. Come on, Joe. See, Austin, the dinner's just for knowledge word. I studied the bumps on your head. Yeah. Now, figure you let me whap you one good with an axe on top of the head, and you'll have a fortune to make him sit up and take notice. No, I don't want him stuck. <laughs> no, that stuff is no better than that. Get it. Go. Oh. So watch where you're going, you clump. as gold as the sun. Yeah. Big sparkly eyes. I'm so sorry I didn't see you. Here, let me help you. No, no, that's... It's all right. I didn't hurt you, did I? No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm Kathleen. Kathleen Walker. I'm happy to meet you, Miss Walker. I'm Hoss Cartwright. I'm happy to meet you, Mr. Cartwright. Yeah, you can just call me Hoss. <laughs> you can just call me Kathleen. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, that's my little brother, little Joe. Cartwright. Kathleen? Ka Kathleen? You aren't married, are you, Hoss? No, ma'am, not a bit. Are you courting? Uh huh. Not so as you'd notice it, no, ma'am. Why? Because I want you to court me. You want me to court you? Would you, Hoss? Would you? What's going on here? Oh, Papa, I want you to meet Hoss. Don't worry, Kathleen. I'll handle this. Oh, but Papa, he wasn't... Oh, now, listen, no standing up for him. I know he's tight. Now, you get in the wagon. Uh, I'll handle this, Romeo. Romeo? I ain't no ladies' man. Papa, I saw what you were trying to do. I got eyes. Now, get in the wagon, like I said. Now, no man makes a proper advances to my daughter without answering to me, hey, John sir. Walker. Oh, now, you, him him you stay proper. out of this. You ain't gonna talk yourself out of this one. I'm gonna give you the beating of your life. Oh, come on now. I ain't gonna fight a guy your size. Don't you worry about my size. I whip men twice your size. Well, nevertheless, I... Uh, 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 uh. Now, oh. get up and fight. Uh, I knew I had you figured out right. No backbone. Now, I'll let that be a lesson to you. And you stay away from my Kathleen. Yes, sir. I sure will. And get off my brain. Uh, uh, uh. hit hard for a little man, don't he? Yeah. He hits hard for a little mule, I mean. Uh, oh. Hey, Joe. Did you see the way that guy looked at me? Yeah. yeah I saw it, but I don't believe him. Just like that made him... If Della said it would. You know, maybe she's got something after all. Well, maybe she was right about Kathleen, but she sure forgot to mention the father. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna be so if we get some beefsteak on that. Yeah, as soon as we get home. Hey, here comes Seth. I'll get that order filled. Hey, Seth! Uh, you get this order filled for me real quick, we gotta get on our way. Oh, sure can, little Joe. Five sacks of grain and two sacks of sugar? Right. Well, I'm out of grain. I haven't got any sugar either. What, you, you sold out of both of them? That's right, sold out. That new man, John Walker, came in with his daughter and bought out all my grain and sugar. That's just great. Now, what are we going to tell Paul? What are we going to tell Paul? We'll tell him they're sold out of it, that's all. I got a load of supplies coming in the morning. Thanks, Seth. Uh, you know, Joe, this is all your fault. We should have come here straight away, just like I wanted to do in the first place. What do you mean it's my fault? I'm not the one who had my fortune told by that, that Madame Adela. Not to mention that mess you got into with Kathleen and her father. You saw Madame Adela, Hoss? Ain't she a marvel? She predicted I'd sell out of grain and sugar. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you believe in that stuff, too. Well, you ain't walking out of here with any sugar, are you? She's truly a marvel, don't you think so, Hoss? Yeah, yeah, she's a, she's a marvel, sir. Come on, Joe, let's go home. Oh. Oh. Well. Just about to come into town looking for you. What took you so long? 
Oh, were we, were we gone long, Pa? Were we gone long? Can't you fellas ever go into town, go right into town, and come right back? Where all the supply, Mr. Hoss? Oh, up saying we didn't get them. You see, Port Seth was all out. Yeah, no, no, no grain, no sugar. Yeah. You're all out, and you came back empty, right? Yeah, well, there's going to be some tomorrow, though. He said he'd have a shipment in there tomorrow. Well, pick it up first thing in the morning. Right. All right, first thing in the morning, you go into town and pick up those supplies. Yes, sir. sir. No sugar, no pie, no dessert, no nothing. Yeah, that you like that, hung up. It's been time. like that all day. Why can't you? What happened to your eye? Well, it's funny you should ask, Paul. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. I have a feeling I shouldn't know. your coffee, little Joe. Ah, thank you, Hopsey. Eh? I'm gonna stay up and read for a while. Pa's going to bed. Hopsey, <coughs> 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 what's the matter with that coffee? No sugar. Yeah, well, no, <coughs> no sugar is one thing, but what you put in it? Chinese sweet, vinegar root. You know, like you bring Hopsey sugar. You are a sub game, we do guide on them. And you take your feet off the table. I wonder if he knows what he's saying. Oh, Madame Adele. I must talk to your brother at once. It is a matter of life and death. Life or death? Yes, life or death. Life or death. I'll get him. Why don't you make yourself at home? Thank you. Hey, horse! Yeah. You got a visitor. Who is it? It's that lady you met in town today. She alone? She sure is. I'll be right down. talk to you at once. It is urgent. What about? In all my years of fortune telling, I have always told the truth. You mean what you told me ain't the truth? Of course I told you the truth. I just did not tell you all. Yeah, we know. You left out Kathleen's father. Yeah. I am telling you, Craig Bonner is the man to fear. You have heard of Craig Bonner. Craig Bonner? Craig, oh, Craig Bonner! Craig, Craig Bonner, the, the gunfighter. Everybody's heard of him. 
Today, when I read your palm, I saw a danger in this man. At first, I did not want to tell you all that I saw. At last, I feel better. Now that the whole truth is out, a stone is lifted from my heart. Uh, madam, wait a minute. What, uh, what's this Craig Bonner got to do with me? <laughs> Craig Bonner rides to Virginia City for one reason. To kill Hoss Catright. <laughs> Explain it that this Madame Mandela makes money by scaring people like you. Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, she's gonna show up in a couple of days. She's gonna tell you she'll protect you from this Craig Bonner as long as you cross her palm with a little silver. Yeah, maybe so, Joe, but that bird, she's been right about everything else. Now, we ought to try reading her palm sometime. I'll tell you right now, it's gonna say right across it, E Pluribus Unum. You thought to the right. Nobody can tell future by looking at the palm. You're absolutely right, I'm saying. That is all hoglash. No, no, I have to hogwash. That's why I say hoglash. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell. Now, this is only way to tell future. Oh, come on, Hop Singh. Come on, Joe. We got things. Oh, well, sticks show what happened in future. Oh, come on, Hop Singh. I mean, you're, you're being just as bad as this Madame Adela. You're wrong. She, Madame Adela, come lately. Chinese been telling future since long before Great War in China. Now, you drop sticks, Mr. Horse. Come. Where they fall is how everything's going to be for you. Well, if it doesn't work out, we can always play tiddlywinks. All right, Hop Singh, I'm going to do it, but not because I believe it. Just trying to understand and be nice, that's all. I'll do it. <laughs> so, uh, now, what do they say? I know sticks will tell. Yeah, but what do they tell? They say... Somebody coming to Virginia City to kill you. <laughs> Very good, Hopsy. I foretell the future. Your life is in great danger, Craig Bonner. I know, I know. Get that black cat out of here, lady. You know nothing. There is more to be told. Come to my tent at three o'clock. Three o'clock. Your life depends on it. That's all. Well, checking what? Oh, for strangers. Oh, Hoss, come on. Are you still are you still worrying about that gunfighter business? Joe, I ain't worried about no gunfighter or nobody else. It's just, we'll make sure that's all. Well, look, this is nonsense. Now, nobody can predict the future, right? Am I right? Right. 
All right, then let's go in and get the supplies before something happens. Yeah. What do you mean before something happens? Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, good morning, boys. <clears throat> good morning, Seth. <laughs> morning, Seth. We uh, come in to pick up the supplies. Well, let's see. That was five sacks of grain and two sacks of sugar, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And, and Paul wants some pipe tobacco too. Well, I'll have it for you as soon as the supply wagon gets here. You mean it ain't here yet? Oh, it's a little late. Be an hour or two. I'm sorry, but these things happen. Uh, well, what do we do now? Well, that burner, we can't go back home without it. So might as well just wait around here, huh? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we go down and pick up the mail and then go over to the saloon and have a beer? All right. Just one beer, though. I don't want nothing else to go wrong. Where'd you go wrong? Two fellas having a beer. <laughs> Hardly anybody ever gets killed in the saloon. Hey, Dean, got any mail for us? Looks a little strange. Uh, Joe, that's <laughs> see you in town today, too, Mel. I'm sorry about your eye. Oh, that's all right, ma'am. It ain't too sorry anymore. Well, thank you, Dean. Sometimes Papa treats me like I was a little girl. You don't think of me as a little girl, do you, Hoss? Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not at all. Don't you think I'm old enough for Courtney? Yes, ma'am. Will you court me, Hoss? <sighs> if you really want me to. <laughs> oh, Hoss, oh. oh, I don't want you to. More than anything, I want you to. But what about your Paul? You know, I got a funny feeling he don't like me much. Oh, he will once he gets to know you, Hoss. It's just that since Mama died, it's just been me and Papa. I'm all he has. He, he just doesn't want anything to happen to me. Yeah, well, the way he looks after you, ma'am, there ain't much likelihood of anything happening to you. <laughs> Where uh, is your Paul now? Well, he's over at the bank taking care of some business. You do like me just a little bit, don't you, Hoss? Well, I, I like you a bunch. <laughs> Will you come by the house tonight? Why, yes, ma'am. I'd love to. But, uh, what about your Paul? Oh, um, well, I'll take care of it. I'll talk to Papa. Is 8.30 too late? No, ma'am. 8.30 is just fine. Oh, dear, there's Papa. Hospital. Will you look your very best tonight? I want you to make a good impression on Papa. Yes, yes, ma'am. Bye. Yes, ma'am. Too. Who's he? That's Greg Bonner. He's reputed to be the greatest gunfighter in this whole territory. Oh, yeah. Hoss, you're looking a little pale. Oh, Lordy. 
How doing, brother? Joey's here. Hmm? He's here. Supply wagon? Good. No, no, him. Him? Who's him? Craig Bonner, that's who. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I just seen him with my own eyes. Well, what's he look like? Well, he looks like something I don't want to get messed up with, that's for sure. That burn everything that Madame Adela said's come true. Oh, now, Hoss, come on. Will you relax? He's probably just passing through. Joe, she ain't been wrong about nothing. Well, what are you gonna do? Well, I, I want to stay away from him, that's for sure. Hey, Roy! Roy, come here a minute. Excuse me. What's up? What's that fella doing in town, anyhow? Well, he's looking for someone in town, but he won't say who. What's the matter, Hoss? You coming down with a grip or something? No, I'm, I'm just fine, Roy, just fine. Hey, listen, Roy, what do, you, what do you know about him? Well, just that he's supposed to be about the fastest gun around. Yeah, well, he must be wanted somewhere for something. Yeah. Nothing that I know of. I've heard tell he's killed about 12 men. 13, to be exact, but there was all fair fights. Well, boys, I'll see you later. That's an unlucky number. Yeah. If I was him, I'd kill another guy just to get off that number. Yeah. What's all this old hello business? Well, I just didn't expect to see you, that's all. <laughs> Surprised, huh? Oh, am I? <laughs> I was about giving your fiance a big kiss. Well, not, not here, Craig. Why not? You're my girl, aren't you? You ain't been fooling around with any other guys, have you? No, of course not. Well, what do you think I am? A woman. Now, I come nearly 400 miles to find you, and I ain't in no mood to play games. Well, I'm not playing games, Greg. Not with you, honey. Well, see, I came to town because I, I had this appointment at the, at the dressmaker, and I'm, I'm having this dress made. It's red, your favorite color. That's good. Red's my favorite color. Now, you wear it tonight because I'm coming calling. I've got something mighty important I want to talk over with you. Uh, well, uh, see, I'm late for the dressmaking now, Craig, and, and you know how they are about appointments, so I'll see you goodbye. Wait, where do you live? Women. Hey, hey, come on, will you stop being so nervous? You're gonna break out in a rash. Just walk naturally. He doesn't know who you are. Right. Yeah. How clumsy, any. I want to see where he's going. Yeah. 
Hernandez. Hey, he's going to Madame Adela. Right, what he's going to do in there? You know, maybe he's going to get his palm red. Yeah, his gun hand. I wonder what it says. You are standing on the street, Main Street. You are facing a man, a big, strong man. You are wearing a gun. He is wearing a gun. You are faster than he is. But you do not win the fight. I see you lying very still in the street. You are bleeding. And your eyes are closed. Am I dead? This I cannot foretell. Only that you are bleeding. I can't stand the sight of blood. It makes me sick. There is only one way to escape your fate. How's that? You must leave Virginia City. Go far, far away. You must leave at once. Today. You mean run? Yes, for your life. Craig Bunner, don't run from man nor beast. How much time have I got? Time is running out. The man you will meet is Hoss Catright. He is a very dangerous man. You must run quickly. If you meet him... If I meet him, I'll kill him. Oh, uh, what happened? I just shot myself in the foot. I'm serious. You're delirious is more like it, isn't it? Papa, this is different. It's different about it, don't you? Well, this is... It's true love. It's, it's a pure love. And I'm reborn. Just one more time, Kathleen, please. Just once more. Well, there's nothing new about moonshining. This is not moonshining. Why, this ingenious machine. It's going to create an elixir of the ages. It's going to be Dr. John Walker's... Infinite bromide. Just think what that will mean to mankind. Just think what it will mean to me. It's the dream of my life. No more two-bit schemes. And Aunt Adela, she can give up fortune telling. And you and she and I will travel. We'll be rich. And what's that got to do with Hoss Cartwright? Why, everything. Hoss has got money. And you as Hoss's fiance. You'll have access to that money. We can't do anything about this dream without Hoss's money. You, you wouldn't turn your back on your poor father, would you? Papa, I just want to live my own life. What? Married to some broken down two-bit gunfighter who find himself shot in the belly in some back alley someday? I love Craig. It seems to me you told me that you'd never marry a man who totes a gun. Papa, what am I going to do? I'm so mixed up. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm almost finished with our elixir. And when it turns to that golden hue, your Aunt Adela and I, we're going to go on the road and we'll make a fortune. And what about me? You'll be free as a bird. You can marry anybody you want. Please, Kathleen, please. Just one more time. This is really the last time. I promise you. No more schemes. As soon as I finish this one. Agreed? Agreed. Thank you very much, Mrs. Kane. Good day. 
Hey, Seth, the supplies come in yet? Uh, Seth? Yeah, about 20 minutes ago. Ah, oh, good. You just tell us where that green sugar is, we'll pick it up. Right, well, hey, don't forget Farmer's pipe tobacco. Yeah, and the pipe tobacco. Well, the tobacco I can let you have, but I'm out of grain and sugar again. What? That's right, Hans. How can that be? You said the wagon just came in 20 minutes ago. Well, that's true, little Joe, but uh, John Walker came and bought all my grain and sugar. Just getting started, I guess he's kind of short of supplies himself. Well, well doggone it, Seth. You knew we were coming back here. Why don't you save yeah. some of it for us? Business is business. And in my business, first come, first serve. Well, Thanks a lot. Well, now what do we do? Well, Dad, burn it. We go back home without it, that's all. Paul sure is going to be sore, though. I can say that again. Wait, don't forget your pa's tobacco. Thanks a lot, Seth. Hey, Art. Yeah, thanks. I'd hate to go home empty-handed. Tell your pa there'll be a load of fresh supplies in the morning. And don't be late. Oh, business has sure been good. Fine. Better fix up the bond, too. Seth was all sold out. Yep. Sold, sold out. out. All sold out. No nice sugar, no grain. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the supply wagon didn't come in. Is that is that correct? No. No, it did. It came in. <laughs> oh, the supply wagon came in. And what happened? Well, Paul, it, it got there about an hour late, see, and old Seth said we might as well hang around and wait, so we went up the saloon and waited. And had yourselves a couple of beers. No, 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 no just, just one. I mean, he, he had one, and then I had one. I see, one beer each. Then what happened? Well, Dad, Bernie Paul, when we got back over there at the store, the, the wagon had come and gone, and Seth has already sold out again. I see, he's just sold out again. No grain? No grain. No sugar? No sugar. Nothing. You... Didn't bring anything back, is that correct? I don't know. We, uh, we, uh... Oh, you did bring something back. What's that? Uh, pi uh, you pipe tobacco. Oh, my pipe tobacco. A whole lot of it. Well, isn't that nice of you? I have some advice for you. Give that pipe tobacco to Hop Singh. It might help allay his feelings. He's been waiting for those supplies for two days. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. You always chew that. <laughs> well, I got the flowers, Hoss. Don't ask me where I got them. Where'd you get them? Well, you know that planter box Hop Singh's been working on all spring? Oh, Joe, he's mighty proud of them flowers. Well, we had to get some kind of a bouquet for Kathleen. Yeah, but if he finds out about it, he, he won't feed us for six months. Well, now, what's more important, you missing a few meals or, or making Kathleen happy? Now, that ain't a fair question, is it? Everything is fair in love and war. Now, here, get your buggy weight. Yeah. How do I look? You look beautiful. You look absolutely beautiful. Really? Kathleen sees in you, there sure is a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go, you late. Right. Wait, Joe, Joe. You're sure now? I mean... You couldn't look any better. Believe me. But how? You just tell me how a man could shoot himself in his own foot. Believe me, it wasn't easy. The doctor said he'd be laid up for a week. Oh, that's great. That's just dandy. You sure messed things up, didn't you? I did? Yes, you! You're supposed to scare him out of town, not cripple him so he can't even run around the block. 
How was I to know he was so clumsy? Isn't he supposed to be the big gunfighter? And now you tell me Kathleen is sweet on him. You're supposed to be able to predict the future, aren't you? Why, you fake you. Fake, am I? Why, you miserable excuse for a brother. All right, now, sis, calm down, calm down. It's not going to do us any good standing here yelling at each other. Now, what I'm worried about is Craig Bonner going to stay put. Just a minute. Just a minute, dear. Don't be so impatient. Craig. You wasn't expecting someone else, was you? Oh, no. Uh, what happened? I had an accident. An accident? Look, it's a long story, and I just assume not go into it right now. I think I'd better sit down. Oh, well, uh, Flowers. You know I get sneezy around them. Yes, dear. Flowers. Craig, don't you think that... I think I'd better sit down. It's a good idea. Here. Ah. The chocolate. Chocolate. You know I get itchy around them. Oh. Oh, Craig, what am I going to do with you? Is there anybody in the house? No. We're all alone. Why? Craig, you're wearing glasses. You noticed. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Honey, who's that? Oh. What's the matter? Oh, it's 8.30, Craig. So? It's 8.30. So what are you getting so nervous about? You act like you got a keg of powder in your bustle. I think I have. Who is that? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll go see. Get rid of whoever it is. Craig, do you trust me? You're a woman? No. Well, you'll just have to because I can't. Ow! Oh, you stepped on my that. sore foot. Please, please, Craig, no matter Wait. what happens, no matter what you hear, that you'll trust me, please, promise. Women. You look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, is your Paul anywhere about? Oh, well, he's gone into town. He'll be back soon. Come on, sit down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bless you. That wasn't your Paul? Oh, uh, he had to go into town. He'll be back soon. <laughs> well, who's that? Oh, he must have um, been the dog. He's been sick. Hoss, uh, I told Papa he was wrong about you and that I'd invited you out here. Yeah? What, uh, what did he say to that? Well, he said he was looking forward to meeting you. Yeah, I'll bet he is. Oh, no, he is, Hoss, really. You're sure? Oh, if there's one man I know, it's Papa. And if he didn't want you to come, he'd have said so. Hoss, you were telling the truth, weren't you, when you said you weren't courting anyone but me? Well, yes, ma'am, I was telling the truth. You're the... You're the only one I'm courting. Glasses. Here, glasses, glasses. Here. And you really like me? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Do you really mean that, Oz? Sure, I mean it. And you care? I mean, you really care? Yes, ma'am. I, I like you a bunch. Oh, Oz. <laughs> my hearing, too. Kathleen! Papa! Wait, Mr. Walker! Mr. Walker, this ain't what it looks like. It ain't, huh? And what are you doing here alone with my daughter? Well, it seems to me you've got her in a mighty compromising position. But and it also seems to me that there's only one honorable solution, and that's marriage. Boss, we have no choice. I've... I've heard enough. No, Craig. 
I've come here after 10 years of court, and you, Kathleen, to take you as my bride. My eyes have gone bad, and I've given up gunfighting forever. I even bought that little ranch, just like you wanted, but when I get here, what do I find? You've given up gunfighting? Why didn't you tell me, Craig? You never gave me a chance, fooling around with this Yahoo here. Oh, Craig, you don't understand. I understand what I hear, and I hear you're gonna marry this no-good galoot. Well, I've heard enough. I'm leaving, forever. Bless you. Oh, Craig. Craig. What's the matter with you? Ain't you got no blood in your veins? Go get her. You're right. Now, see here. Miss Kathleen, I, I ain't afraid of him. Hey, you. Hoss, I love him. Oh, well, that's different. See, Mr. Well, Walker? you ever seen him anyway? Why, he's holy. Holy, holy. holy. I'm beautiful. You ain't one of Why still? even ask. Did something go wrong? Not all together. I didn't get to court her none. She was already courting another fella. Craig Bonner. She's gonna marry him as soon as her Paul gets out of jail. Reason or Paul went to jail. Forget it. Like you said. No, don't even ask. Uh, I'll put these in some water for you. Thanks, Joe. 